Let's continue doing more sophisticated AQL searches. So we have this one uh, from previous video. We show the all the usernames in the system. We have them counted uh, as uh, in the column total. We don't we exclude it where username is not available, which is null, and we group them by username. Now we also have in this system a reference set that we call uh, created it called service accounts. Actually, look for that one. Here it is service accounts, and we have in here three usernames: Arstube, Watson, IBM Analytica. Let's say that these are my service accounts; these are not users, and I want to perform the search that I was doing before, but I want to exclude those uh, service accounts from it. So all I have to do here is, uh, after the condition where the username is not null, I need to insert this, notice that an in, a not, reference set contained, this is looking inside the service account, reference set I just show you, looking for the user name. So if I uh, find a username in there, that is going to be excluded because this is an a not. So if I click here, search, I should get uh, IBM Analytics, Watson, and RSD, oops, uh, uh, eliminated from the actual list. And they were. So very useful for combining AQL searches with data which resides on reference sets. Again, any other useful data that you have, IPs, hashes, or whatever else you have on the reference sets, you can uh, use these uh, in combination with AQL very powerful. And don't forget that AQL can also be used programmatically, so a lot of flexibility here. Let's actually do AQL searches related to the asset database. So in here we want the first column be the source IP and we also want the user as asset user and we get that by going into the asset database on the one that has the source IP Give me the user login at that time. Count them and put it as the name activity here. From events where the asset user exclude anything that is null and group it by source IP or the by activity in the last five hours. So again, looking into the asset database as part of your AQL searches. As you probably know the UBA app at the risk per uh, everyone, uh, every user, with a quantity called sense value. So the next AQL search is to give us the username. I want you to count and to sum all the sense value for that user and put it as the column total from events and exclude when the sense value is a null and when the username is also null and group it by username for the last 30 days and here you have it that's the risk per username as an AQL statement we can also get the risk associated by every one of the use cases within the UBA by replacing the username by QID uh, by getting the QID name as use case adding those and group them by use case and here you have it the total risk per every use case and to close this uh, this uh, video let's find the risk per category category sorry so uh, you select the category as a category we're going to put that as the parents these are the different categories we're going to put the QID as child we're going to sum the sense value as total from event again as when sense value is not null and the category is between 24,000 and 25,000 group that by parent and child for the last 30 days and here we have it and you can order this as we've done before and sort it I just want to keep the statement within one line
it's maybe a good point to, to show that the searches in in AQL, if, if you want to advance to the next search without submitting the search, you do uh, shift enter and then you go to the next line. And of course you can break the line if you if you don't want to make it that 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 long. You go in, for example, on this point and do shift enter and then you go and uh, and you can continue your search on the next line and when you submit it that can help on the on the visibility of it uh, 